Last week, in a series of angles, I warned Senate Republicans that if they don't step up and vociferously defend this president against this ongoing farce, guess what? Democrats would exact revenge on them if they, heaven forbid, went on to win big in 2020. Now, as if on cue, the Washington Post reported over the weekend that a, quote, growing number of GOP senators consider acknowledging Trump's quid pro quo on Ukraine. And, of course, the media, they're running wild with it. Some Republicans in the Senate are on the brink of publicly admitting that there was a Ukraine quid pro quo. And that directly contradicts what the president has been saying. Some Senate Republicans are arguing for a shift in strategy, acknowledging the quid pro quo, but insisting it is not an impeachable offense. The Republican Party and it's those close to the president realizing that they have nowhere else to go other than acknowledging that there was, in fact, a quid pro quo. Hold on there, Counselor. Joining me now is Lindsey Graham, Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Senator, is this true, and is this just a rhetorical argument? Okay, just assuming all your facts, Adam right. and Nancy and right. company, assuming all everything you say is true, we deny it, but assuming it's true, right. it's still not impeachable. Is that what's going on here? I think maybe a little bit of that. Here's what you can take from this whole discussion. There's not one vote for impeachment removal from office based on the phone call in the U.S. Senate. I don't believe Mitt Romney would vote to remove the president over the phone call. Because, one, he did nothing wrong. If that's an impeachable offense, you won't have any presidents left. On the, in Kentucky uh, tonight, a lot of kids behind him had read the transcript T-shirts. I really want have one of those. Have you read the really transcript? Cool. Of course I read the transcript. Okay. Gosh, you don't respect uh, I, me. Of course I, I read it I, many it times. It was just to get you going. There's nothing wrong with that phone call. Did he say, unless you investigate my opponent, Joe Biden, I will cut off your military aid? Did he say that? No. Has anyone said the president said that? What did the president of the Ukraine say? No, I didn't take this as a quid pro quo. We didn't cut off aid, and Joe Biden wasn't investigated. Um, tonight, uh, Rand Paul, of course, it was a Kentucky fest for Bevin's big thing. Rand Paul was at this rally, and he kind of was pushing the Senate to be really strong. Watch. Yeah. President Trump has great courage. He faces down the fake media every day. But Congress needs to step up and have equal courage to defend the president. If Shifty Schiff will not let Hunter Biden come, and if he will not bring the whistleblower for, every Republican in Congress should take a walk and say, this is a farce. Well, he's saying walk out. I mean, if you, don't, if you don't have these types of witnesses, walk out. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I really believe the whistleblower statute has become a dangerous tool in the wrong hands. A whistleblower statute is designed to keep somebody from being fired if they report corruption. It was never designed to keep somebody anonymous. It's not in the statute itself. So I like Senator Grassley, Grassley but all due respect, you can't prosecute somebody. Impeachment is the political death penalty based on an anonymous source. So, yes, Rand is right. We need the whistleblower's name. We need who they are, and they need to be cross-examined under oath about any biases they may have. Number two, we need to look at whether or not Hunter Biden corruptly uh, engaged in lobbying. Did Joe Biden ask the prosecutor to be fired because he was investigating his son? And John Solomon, one of your guests coming up, has given us plenty to look at. So I hope uh, Chairman Risch, the Foreign Intelligence uh, Chairman, will open up an investigation about the role of the State Department in all this. State Department, going back to the Reagan years, Lindsey, Senator Graham, uh, Lindsay. have been, <laughs> it's just always a thorn in the side of conservatives. I mean, yeah. it just is, because they have a different worldview. I mean, they do, and they're burrowed in, and they're the in for the long haul. So just what John has found is some communications where... Uh, We're going to get into this in just a moment. Okay, well, the bottom line is the company that Hunter Biden was serving as a board member, they went to the State Department and said, uh, if the prosecutor doesn't leave Hunter Biden alone, Lay off. it's going to hurt us. Now, that to me is a bombshell of all bombshells, which should lead to a Senate investigation of How the State Department. How could Reich Department. not call him and, and I, call uh, members of, of the after Burisma this, board? Uh, you, uh, How could he not? So the, the member of the board actually met with John Kerry. Let's move on, though, to what's happening on this whistleblower front, because the whistleblower's attorney said, we will submit written <laughs> answers, Senator Graham. So, written, what could be wrong with wit, uh, written answers? I mean, come on, just re let, let the him or if her, If you're right? ever charged with a crime and the person accusing you of wrongdoing, they don't have the ability to say, I'll take written questions. You have a constitutional right to confront your accuser. 
And this idea of saying they will take written questions violates every norm of due process. Can you imagine if a Republican had done this to a Democrat? That we had a whistleblower that we would keep anonymous accusing a Democratic president of wrongdoing, and they said they'll take written questions, the whole town would blow up. But didn't Trump submit written questions when he was uh, doing yeah, the Yeah, he's the president of the United Her States, answers. right? He's the target of an investigation, and they agreed upon written questions. When you accuse somebody of a crime, you can't do it anonymously. You can't get a parking ticket based on an anonymous source. Now, a lot of people forget that Senator Graham was an impeachment manager yeah, in the Clinton down this road. impeachment. So you've been down this road. Any other advice for the senators? I mean, you put on, you were an impeachment manager. You can put on a case in the Senate. You go and give, present your, your position. The senators don't get to ask questions. Right. They just have to sit and listen. But you can make it.